Hello, today's video is about my uh, new teleprompter. I gotta quit touching my face. Uh, the newer X12 2022 model. No association with newer, but I have purchased quite a few of their products and uh, they're affordable and they seem to be well made. They're, they hold up. Um, same goes for this teleprompter. It's, uh, look, there's couple little things I don't like, but I'll talk about that after. I hate reading from a script, so we will see how this goes. I usually just have bullet points on a notepad to keep me on target. My videos are mostly text slanted, including video editing, photography, camera and gear, e-bikes, projects, product evaluation, and sometimes cooking. Really. The setup of this teleprompter was fairly easy. Included is a Bluetooth remote right here. Pretty cool. Pair it to the newer teleprompter app, which I've loaded in an older 10 inch Lenovo tablet. And I wrote a test script, and I was able to. Uh, it's a you got to save it as a doc C, a doc X type file. Pair your Bluetooth on the remote to the app, and then from the app you request a download, and you go to your Wi-Fi network, and it opens your browser, and it says. And this guy have access to a file, and you go find the file and you send it to him. Pretty straightforward. There's a pretty involved processes shown on other YouTube. And if you, maybe I can do that later. I don't know. Once I open the file on the tablet, I hit the mirror icon, and it was off and running. It worked the first time. As long as you have the right format to save your file. Um, the app and the remote are basic. I mean, real basic. This thing... You can change the font size, uh, the color of the background and the foreground. I like black with white letters. Easy to read. Can't even see the camera through here, but the camera can see fine. Um, you can control the scroll speed and the pause and start is really helpful. I can sit here and start and stop it. The start button on the very top is only for the Bluetooth pairing process with the app in the tablet. That kind of confuses people. They try to sync up the Bluetooth with the tablet itself. That's not how it works. Okay, enough of me speaking about it. I will film my setup and state my pros and cons in that video. Thank you. Okay, I'm recording and this is what the teleprompter looks like when I'm sitting in my seat and we'll start it. And I like this pause and resume button. I use that a lot. And I read somewhere where if you do a paragraph with a few sentences and you skip three spaces in between, uh, you can kind of freelance a little and not make it look so robotic. I kind of like that. So here it is, and I'm, you know, I'm. Uh, I need to uh, try my uh, phone, because I've got the app there too, and make the print a little smaller. And I want to get it narrower so I'm not my eyes aren't moving back and forth. So that's what that looks like. Now I'm going to show you my lighting setup and the back of this thing and my one little gripe that I've already uh, figured out a fix for. Okay, this is uh, my little collection of junk that I got up there but what I wanted to show you was the case that everything was inside this case and the case fits right inside the box 
and uh, it was pretty compact. I don't think I'll probably ever use it, maybe unless I just want to store it, because I don't plan on leaving the house with this thing. It's kind of a little bit of a hassle. Okay, here's my uh, main lighting setup. It's a um, rechargeable battery LED, I think 160 light LEDs, with my diffuser umbrella. Uh, and I've got it at a 45 to me. And here is the back of the teleprompter. And I've got my shotgun mic hooked up on a cold shoe, plugged in, and that's my T5i. I'm going to get closer to that in a second. Okay, here's the back of this with my uh, T5i on there. Uh, for video, it's I prefer the M50. There's no comparison. The autofocus on the M50 works really good. Um, you see the little, I've added that extra little plate, uh, Swiss Arca with a bubble and all. You see that green bubble, that's that plate and the adapter. The screw underneath the plate that I've screwed into the plate to hold it is a real pain to get it back on the camera because you are pretty much blind by this larger plate that it fits on. So this, I can get it on and off real quick and flip cameras real quick. Just take the plate off the camera, put it on the other camera, and just snap, slap it in there. That was my largest gripe with this. Um, the other complaint was, even though I have a big tablet, I cannot size down the font. So that's, I have a smaller tablet. Uh, I don't know if I can use it or not. Let's see if the app will work. But I have a phone, I'm going to try that. But other than that, this thing really works, so uh, I'm quite happy with it, and that's the end of the video.